All right, so this video is going to show you how to measure traffic from a Facebook custom tab in Google Analytics using UTM tags. All right, so what did I just say there? When you create a custom tab, sometimes you'll have links in that custom tab that go to your website. One thing that you want to do is you want to see how effective those custom tabs are and how much traffic you're getting from those custom tabs and what Facebook users do on your site once they click on buttons or links in those custom tabs and they go to your website. All right. So let me give you an example here. On my Facebook page in Bonzombie, if I click on schedule a consult, right, I go to a custom tab and then down in the bottom I have three different banners that people can click on. Okay, what I want to do is I want to measure and see, you know, how do people actually come to my website? In your case, it's going to be, you know, how can I analyze the users on my website that are actually coming from my Facebook page? Now, you can do this in one of two ways. You can have a completely separate web page that you've built on your website specifically for Facebook traffic coming from your Facebook tab. Okay. Um, or you can use something called UTM tags. UTM tags allow you to amend an existing URL with tags that you can filter on in Google Analytics. Okay, let me give you an example. I'm going to go into my Google Reader. All right, this is actually I use Feedly, but it's a go basically Google Reader, right? And I see an article here by Kivi Leroy Miller. If I click on the title, it's going to open up a new page. So I'm going to click on this link. It's going to open up a new page. And then if I look at the URL, it says blog, you know, the date, the title of the blog. And then we see something that says question mark UTM underscore source equals feed burner equals feed burner. Okay, that gives Kivi the ability to search on feed burner on traffic that's coming from this source. All right. She can also search on the medium. Okay, so the medium is a feed and then also a campaign. She has feed. All right. And then there's some other information here. Right. So these are three UTM tags that Kivi is using to track how many people actually visit her website from her feed. Okay. Same thing applies in a custom tab. If we go back to Inbound Zombie and if I mouse over one of these banners, I'm going to copy the link address. I'm going to go into text edit and show you what this looks like. We have Inbound Zombie. This goes to a specific page on my website. right? And then it says UTM source equals Facebook custom tab. The medium is a banner. Right, so that's the medium that I'm using, and the campaign is Facebook page. Now, what we do is we go into Google Analytics. This is just our my general traffic overview. If I click on advanced segments, though, I can see that I am measuring traffic via banners in the Facebook custom tab. Okay, so I can actually add this custom segment. I click on apply. And then it tells me exactly how many visitors come in through the banners on this custom tab during the month. I can also compare that with another segment. So in this case, links from the Facebook page. Okay. So the question, the reason why I'm looking at both of these is because I want to look at do people click on banners or are they going to click on a link to go to Inbound Zombie or this link right here? Okay. What's going to work the best? So I go back into Google Analytics. I can look at both of these segments. I click on apply my question is answered very quickly. We can see that visits via banners is a lot higher than visits via links. Okay. So how do we set this up? First of all, uh, the first thing you want to do is obviously get the URL to the page that you want to send traffic to. Okay. Then you create UTM tags. There's a great website called UTM.to. All you have to do is copy the URL. Okay, so we have inbound zombie, right? And let's say that my source is Facebook, you know, the Facebook page. You can't use spaces here. The medium is custom tab two, if you have more than one custom tab. And then what you're doing is you're analyzing, let's say you're doing a fundraising campaign, you know, year end appeal. Okay. What you do is you click on generate 
and then down at the very bottom you get a short URL. We're not going to use that. We're going to show the link. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it into our text edit document so you can see it all. Right. Inbound zombie question mark UTM source equals Facebook page custom tab two year end appeal. Uh, so keep in mind, you know, you don't need to use this tool UTM.2. All you have to do is, you know, pay attention to the syntax. Question mark UTM underscore source equals fill in the blank. Okay. And UTM underscore medium equals fill in the blank. And UTM underscore campaign equals fill in the blank. Okay. You can just use that exact syntax. You'll be fine. Uh, it's, you know, sometimes it's easier just to use a site like this. So you avoid any possible mistakes and you're good to go. Now, once you get this link, what you want to do is you want to create the segment in Google Analytics, right? So what you do is you go over to your Google Analytics, uh, click on overview. And then when we click on advanced segment, we can create a new segment. Okay. So I'm just going to deselect these. I'm going to create a new custom segment. I click on new. What I want to do now is select on the UTM tags that I'm filtering on. Right. So I click on this drop down menu and I go down to medium. If we mouse over the questions icon, we can see that this is medium, which refers to traffic includes mediums identified via UTM underscore medium. Okay. So I click on that containing Facebook page and I can also add an and statement, right? So I click on add and statement and then I click on another uh, selection here. So I'm going to go all the way down to source. So I say source again, this is identifying UTM underscore source. I click on this and I want to say, I think it was a, uh, what did we say? Custom tab two. Okay. You don't have to identify all three UTM tags in here, depending upon the situation you want to use all three or just two or one. All right. And then finally what you do is you give it a name. Uh, we're just going to put traffic from Facebook custom tab to year and appeal. All right. We click on save. All right. And then we're good to go. Now this is obviously not going to show any traffic at all because we just don't even have this link actually available on the internet. It's not even public because we just created it for a demo. Right. So that's how to track it. Once you put it in there, give it a couple of days and soon you'll be able to see traffic coming from your Facebook custom tab using these UTM tags. All right. That is it. Bye.